present you uh, that talking about the UK people and uh, as our informant her name is Caroline uh, she from England and before we start to the interview we need to introduce ourselves the first is my friends hi my my name is Komaya Suti Dewi my last ID number in 161 Okay, uh, my name is Niputu Ayurina Dewi with last ID number 163 And the last one is me, it is Deka Enkar Jayanti with last uh, ID number is 166 uh, My name is Carolyn, I'm from England, I'm from a place called Dorchester in the south of England um, I'm a retired teacher and I'm here on holiday in Bali oh. <laughs> Okay, Carolyn, this is, uh, I have uh, some questions for you. Uh, I just wonder how long have you been here? Stay in Bali. In Bali for one month. For one month. And you come here for holiday or uh, working or something like that? Just for a holiday. Just for holidays? Yes, I retired from teaching, so uh. <laughs> this is my, my holiday. Okay. Uh, how long is the flight uh, you spent uh, to, uh, from London to Bali? It's um, 12 and a half hours from, 12 hours. from London to Singapore oh. and then from Singapore to Bali was another two and a half hours but going home again it's 14 and a half from Singapore to Houston. So you are the first landing from Singapore and then you and then to I change, okay. yeah. On the way here I went to Jakarta first. Oh Jakarta! Yeah. <laughs> Why you choose Bali as your destination for holiday? Because I was here for um, for two months, 30 years ago, and I loved it, and I met some really nice people, and I learned a bit of Bahasa and Indonesia, so I wanted to come back. It's, um, it's very beautiful, it's green, um, I live near the sea, um, it's at the moment very cold, <laughs> it's uh, about minus three degrees and it's um, snowing. Snowing. At the moment. Yeah, so it's, but it's very cold, uh, but in the summer it's warm and it's, um, yeah, it's very, it's very beautiful, it's very different to here. Uh, do you have uh, some places uh, to re your recommend when we are maybe we are want to visit UK or England. Do you have any recommend places? Oh well, I mean London, um, of course, is a great place to go and visit because there's so much to do there, so many museums and galleries and uh, really beautiful sites to go and see in theatre in London. Um, but where I live, it's on the south coast and it's it's very beautiful. I live in a place called the Jurassic Coast. Jurassic Coast? Yes, where there's lots of fossils. <laughs> really yes, it's very beautiful. Okay. And can you tell us about something kind of information? What are the UK people look like? Maybe the physical characteristic? Like, we can distinguish, oh, these are people from UK, or these are people from England, maybe, from the physical characteristic. Mm -hmm. Like, Indonesian people like, have uh, not very tall like that, like that. Yeah, well in, in England we're really multicultural so mm -hmm. there's no one sort of defining feature for mm -hmm. English people, you know, because we, lots of people have okay. uh, have come into England. There's so not there one is a defining feature. There is no specific for recognized this is No, oh, no. not at all. Not okay. at all. <laughs> Could you tell me what are your opinion about Bangladesh people? They're very kind and helpful and smiley and hardworking. Yes. Um, what is the difference did you feel when you uh, in Bali and in your uh, country? Uh, what the difference is? Yes. Oh, just huge differences. Not just the climate, obviously, very hot yeah. and sunny all the time, and um, the rain when it rains here, it really yeah. rains yes. <laughs> you know in in England it could just be drizzle you know it could be drizzle. Yeah. Um, uh, it's um, it's busy here in Ubud but when, when you go out of Ubud it's um, much more countryside and very quiet and underdeveloped you know? yeah. in England there are just much more built-up towns yeah. yes big roads yeah. Uh, lots of 
buildings. And uh, lots of cars, yeah? Lots of cars. Yeah. Not as many scooters. Yeah. <laughs> like here, yeah, many scooters. Yes. Yeah. And then, um, what do you do uh, usually at Um, what me personally, um, I like to paint and um, I have a garden and I also I work in a bookshop on Saturday mornings. Uh, and then uh, what do you do uh, to relax after the hard work? Well, my hard work is over because I'm retired now, but um, I used to uh, read, well, read books and I garden and I paint and I have two dogs. What is the name of your dogs? One is called Paddy and one is called Benny. Benny. <laughs> I also have one dog. Oh, do you? <laughs> yeah. okay. So what is something that you think everyone uh, should do at least a month? Travel. Travel, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And then what is the best way to start your day? Oh, with a cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then, what are uh, three interesting facts about you? I have no hair. <laughs> <laughs> I have something called alopecia, which just means my hair fell out and never grew again. Um, I have tattoos on my head. <laughs> um, and I was born in Singapore. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I read uh, several articles uh, discussing the habits of UK people. Mm -hmm. uh, this, uh, the first one is called dancing. Uh, this article explains a lot of Brits do their best not to and, and convince others and if they feel they been bothersome in any way, they'll apologize. Can you? Yes, yes. You, you do say sorry all the time. So if you, uh, if somebody bumps into you in the street, you would say, oh, sorry, even though they had bumped into you, that kind of thing. Yes, you just say sorry. Okay. The next uh, is keeping a stiff upper lip. Yes. Can you explain? <laughs> Uh, the the term stiff up a lip is from if you're you know if you're about to cry and you you know you're kind of <laughs> like this. so a stiff up a lip is to put a brave face on something so uh, even if you're feeling scared or sad you you know you put a, a brave face on. Okay. Um, now. Ask you, what's your favorite food in Indonesia? Well, uh, there's so many favorite foods, but I love the grilled fish. Oh. The fish in, in Indonesia is just amazing. I love, I love the 